the area soon. I can see motor on ahead. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin. Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Ludrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest in all Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. You think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch. Open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Ludron, the thieves warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. on site here. Learned this from one of the dogs. 
daughters and I'm their blessed and holy healing. Good help with the bank. Thank you. That's Tefter's voice. So he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kurnan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sell swords you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Teftir killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but you have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. 
Look, we wasn't going to kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell her. Tell her we've taken care of you. Kunar did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, God, is he dead? Wake up. Wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah. Move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lot have been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. You've a good heart. Thank you. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out. But he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunon? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. I have found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it all and lay a god. It's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Win it. <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunon. Have you seen him? 
He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Let's go find him! There are the church ladies! They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kuna. It is important. You're lost, Butcher. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a Butcher. All the festival ladies in charge wear. <laughs> Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the Wicker Man. <laughs> Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the man of it! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes. He's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. What does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! Geva is waiting for his delivery to the church. That's my way in. <laughs> Right. Ah, the crate. Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. You are snake tongue. Eivor! Ha! Have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? And an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. 
Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunan. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch. This was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenevere, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Recognize Mordrin's voice. The mother is communing with the gods on this those holiest of times, and we're stuck guarding the door. I'd rather be out here in case the ritual goes sour and we end up as a meal for the gods.
and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sellout you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. Without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... 
Are we in hell? No, we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter, despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe, and the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. <laughs> Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, <laughs> you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, 
and deaths. All growing and learning. The Wicker Man is ready, O oh King. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the harvest! Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. So glad to see you. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. But Ragnason, you are a long way from your king's sight. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A Dagnus followed your brother. One I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. 
Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield if the fates are kind.